हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज़ हरीश एंड इन कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल अबाउट एमएमसी वेयर वी रजिस्टर्ड म्यूल रन टाइम टू एमएमसी सर्वर एंड आल्सो डिड द इनिशियल सेटअप फॉर एमएमसी सो आई विल बी कंटिन्यूइंग दैट ट्यूटोरियल एंड टुडे आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ टू डिप्लॉय वन एप्लीकेशन टू योर म्यूल रन टाइम सर्वर यूजिंग एम so first of all let's see there is uh, this uh, deployments tab so this is the place which we will be using uh, to deploy a new uh, application so before that obviously we need one application so what i have done i have uh, gone to my anypoint studio and i have created one demo application it's it's very simple uh, um application which uh, doesn't do much it just uh, logs uh, sets one data and uh, send back the log so let me put one logger also so this is a it's a http endpoint and then i will be writing my message here so my message okay so I want to say got request uh, we don't have any payload it's just a request so let me write the message here so I will be putting the complete message okay sorry my PC laptop is running a bit slow I'm running so many things so okay message so what we do after creating this is uh, and yeah one more thing i have done is uh, I, in log4j.xml file i have uh, given one extra path here i have uh, given a folder name for my project as sample and then uh, why because i will be showing you how you can access log files into uh, uh, in using mmc uh, in MMC using uh, this project for this project okay so what we do next is uh, we go to export and we export this application go to mule select this mule studio project a deployable archive go to next and I will be exporting it on desktop uh, of uh, my laptop and then my name is sample MMC demo I have given hit finish and I will have I should have one okay let me okay so here so here I got a sample MMC demo now I'll go to my MMC and in MMC I click on new in the new deployment let's give it a name uh, you can give any name which and uh, but uh, always make sure you give some name which is easy to recognize and easy to search and if you have multiple mule servers it's always good to give a name which uh, makes sense for your deployment maybe test or uh, dev or staging that kind of name so for now i am just giving sample demo mmc app and you have to options adding from repository and upload to a new application what add from repository means if you have deployed this uh, uh, mule uh, sorry mmc into one server and you exported your uh, zip file into that uh, server from there you can get it from that repository so right now i don't have any repository so upload from local so i go here i select that file I do open and in advanced option you can give it different name you can create a different workspace or name or different kind of version you can select it by default it will give a date based uh, version to your uh, deployment and you can just add this name will be used for your log files also so and your application deployed into mm uh, sorry mule runtime okay I do load and now I go here and I select my server 
So if you have a long list of servers, if it goes more than 10, you will not be able to see it here. So in that case, what you can do, you can write uh, search here. You can do local or whatever name of your server is, and then you can add that. So we have selected runtime. You have uh, given the zip file deployable and then the name. Now you have save and deploy. So if you do save and uh, uh, what it what will happen is uh, this application or that this deployment will get saved into mule MMC server and will not be deployed on mule runtime. If you hit deploy, it will do both the things. It will save it also and it will deploy it also. So for now, I'm just uh, going to hit save because I want to show outside how it looks. So I do save. Okay. So now you can see this yellow button uh, yellow mark so what it says it's undeployed and uh, it will be red in case of a deployment failure or error and it will become green when it's successfully deployed you select this and you hit deploy and it will be deployed on your mms mule runtime um, for that let's go here and see what's happening on our mule so here you see the deployment is happening using MMC and it's successfully deployed, right? So it's deployed. Now, I forgot what was my URL. So let me see. Okay, so it's running on localhost and the near path is demo. And what is my port number? My port number is 8081. So let's go to browser and search for that localhost 8081 slash demo so you see the application is deployed and the response came back right so this is how we do the deployment and uh, I think ah, okay I forgot how to show you the log file so if you want to check the log file what you do you go to local mule server you go to files then you go to logs in the logs this is the name which i was talking about the sample you can see this sample and you can click on this log file and you can see the log happening here so i put this logger here and the message right so here you can simply see whatever log file log information you have given so this is how you can access the logs or if you have access to the folder directly you can go to mule runtime logs and you can see the log files here also so this is how we do the deployment in mmc uh, for mule runtime i hope it was clear uh, in future tutorial i will be showing you what else you can do using mmc thank you for watching do like and share bye bye